So does your shower cubicle look something like this? But you are wishing it was something like this. If you are a keen weekend DIYer, you should be able to install your own shower panels. But saying that, I recommend that you have someone helping you out when it comes to the stressful part, like mounting the panels. Here are some of the tools that I used. Some of them may not be necessary for your project. First, to install the clad seal base trims. The panels will rest on these seals and they are fixed to the wall and shower basin using silicon sealant. Measure, cut to size and mitre cut the corners where necessary. Check that the pieces are okay with a dry fit. The base of each wall needs to have two horizontal runs of silicon sealant to go behind the base trim seal and another horizontal run for where the shower tray edge meets the base of the trim seal. The channel of the clad seal trim also needs to be filled with silicon sealant. After putting the base trim seal in place, you can remove any excess silicon with a trim tool. A damp cloth comes in handy removing excess silicon on any visible areas. Now to cut the panels to size. The instructions say it is possible to cut the 10mm panel with a work knife, but you'll need to have the strength of Arnie whilst being super precise. I can honestly say it is virtually impossible cutting the panel with a work knife, unless you are installing 5mm panels which are for dry areas only. Luckily I managed to borrow a plunge saw of a relative. A standard circular saw is okay, but a track saw is better for accuracy. As it was raining and close to freezing outside, I decided to cut the panels in the kitchen, supported by some chipboards. Now on to cutting around those odd shapes. The rear of the power shower and the water pipe below were set into the wall, so I decided to cut the panels to go around them. I initially started cutting with a hoe saw and trimming off the excess with a knife, but as before it turned out to be a nightmare. So I bit the bullet and bought an inexpensive rotary drill set. Using the rotary drill with a cutting disc worked out really well. Before installing the panels, I had to cut the inner corner trims to size. Both sides of the corner need a line of silicon sealant to receive the corner trim, as do the channels of the corner trim where the panels will be inserted. Now to blob the wall with silicon sealant. Make sure the room is well ventilated, as the solvent in the silicon can be overpowering. Insert the panel into the corner trim channel then pat down the panel against the wall. As I was working against the clock, I didn't get any footage of installing the two panels for the longest wall. The join between the two panels has a tongue and groove. The groove also needs to be filled with transparent silicon. The two side panels didn't require any end trim as they were butted up against wood trims. Here are a few final shots of the shower cubicle. I'm happy with the outcome and the panels are far easier to install compared to old school tiling. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If the video was useful, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.